Hi everyone, this is JV's Gaming and I'm going to summon in Epic 7. So, in this video, I'm going to summon in this banner featuring Iselia. So, because Iselia is featured in this banner in the only one, she had her rate up. So, because of her rate up, the rate is must be 0.8. Unlike in the previous banner involving Crow and Tenebria are 0.4. So I'm sure that Isaiah is in the 0.8%. So the, which is good. And this is the exact my first attempt. So the previous 0 10 attempt is kind of a daily free summon. Or some 3 of them are from Crow banner. So, what I'm going to do is to summon for first 10 pulls in this banner. And this video will be for first 10 pulls. So, I'm excited that I'm going to get Isaria. She is also involved in the in my summon attempts when the selective summon happens in my first streaming and my first impression on Epic 7. And then towards going into selective summon seasons, which I've got Isilia on 30th time. So now I'm planning to recruit this girl, which is she is kind of impressive hero. The, oh, not this one. This uh, helmet button. Her first skill is to throw a sword at the enemy with 35% chance to decrease defense for 2 turns. So if you upgrade her into plus 4 with Mulagora, this will be 50% which is kind of 1 over 2 chance to make it happen to activate the defense debuff. Her second skill is reset skill cooldown of an ally except for the caster with light energy which is very great. Especially the 2 rumor of Isilia great pairing up with 9 turn cooldown like Luna and Tamarin and her S3 has attacks with a giant magic sword that dispelling all buff decreasing defense and making them unable to be buffed for 2 turns which is kinda must amazing and a must have character due to her S3 also her S2 helps the her teammate to decrease the cooldown for 5 turns or reset <coughs> so it will be nice so you must make it into level 2 which is she can be plus 4 plus 2 plus over uh, 4 plus 2 so i can you can mulagora her into plus 8 and must this is a great character to recruit okay so if i do ado let's begin summoning after sometimes many people are going to pull for this amazing character named iseria So here's my first attempt. It's just a 3 star hero. So who is gonna be? Tieria. Hmm, by the way, I have 4 of Tieria's now and currently I'm planning to evolve her into 5 star after she appear. Thanks for remembering me, summons. So so what's in my second attempt? Okay, an artifact, nice. Hoping giving me some decent artifact like Oh this one is pretty decent. Increase speed of the caster by 1%. Which is kinda a uh, good artifact. Okay, third attempt. I can't wait to get my first Isilia. Maybe she missed me, but nope. Here's another. Another one. Another Kiris. Which I recently promoted her into 5 star. Now, Travi, now journey to become an SSS in memory imprint. Okay, let's do it for 4th attempt. No, it's another artifact. Wow, hero artifact, hero artifact. 
yes, it's a Dread Dream Joker, which is very useful because it deals extra damage equivalent to 1.5% of an enemy's max health, which is a bonus damage if you equip it with Daydream Joker. Mm, artifact again, maybe more Daydream Joker. It's a Devil's Brawl which is increases effect resistance of all allies by 2%. Which is kinda a nice, a nice item to protect us from the debuffs. Okay, let's do this in my fifth attempt. Okay, four star artifact. Now three artifacts in a row. Another Hellcutter. Two more than I can fully max its maximum level of this artifact. This one is very nice equipment. Mostly great for warriors like Luna and Yufine. Now I'm rooting for the 6th attempt. So let's see if I can get Isaria in this banner. Previous banner I cannot get any Crow and Tenebria which is kinda sucks even 20 attempts. Okay this is Judith. Well another Judith but my Judith currently is at SSS so. I will use her as a fodder for 5 star evolutions someday or maybe I can sell her to gain some transmit stones. Okay, this is 3 star artifact. This is my 8 item and yet a 3 star artifact. Another, this one is a kind of dispel 1 debuff when attack. Hmm. Just a chance of if some hero who wears this, they have their debuff will be cured because of that. Okay, um, eight more, two more in order to finish the video. So let's see if I get five star, but it's another uh, hero. Maybe some chance will get into four star, but nope. Wow, nice. Pearl Horizon. Okay, 10 and last. And it's time I'm decide to do some Moonlight Summons. Or actually, maybe... Let's find out. I didn't visit the, the expiry date of this banner. So where does it end? Oh, it's Aether. <laughs> well, the second time, third time Aether appears. Eventually, I'm gonna 5 star him if I've got 4 duplicate of Aether. Now, I've done my 10 summon attempts. So, this banner will be took place only for April 17. And eventually, I've got the summoning mileage. And I'm going to do some moonlight summon. But, I've decided not to in case of a new... Moonlight Hero. Okay, so I'm I think I'm going to finish this video. Thank you for watching. So if you like this video then press the like button and then subscribe to GV's Gaming for more Epic 7 Summon videos. So see you in the next week. Just in case the upcoming Moonlight Hero appears. Peace.